Good day, grade 8 learners, and welcome to Tumamina Teaching. You are tuned into your first lesson out of the three lessons that we will be doing for grade 8, term 3. So let's start by recapping a few of the accounting principles we've learned in the last few lessons. Can you still remember the accounting equation? In accounting, we can show every transaction through the accounting equation. Remember, the accounting equation is assets equals to owner's equity plus liabilities. The three elements of the accounting equation must always remain in balance. In grade 8, we will only be focusing on two elements of the accounting equation, that is assets and owner's equity. In grade 9, we are also going to be covering liabilities as well. So grade 8, you must be able to know all three of the accounting elements of the accounting equation. That's assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Okay, so now that you know about the accounting equation, let's move over to recap on the service business and transactions. Let's start with transactions. A transaction is an event or action that takes place in the business. A transaction occurs between two parties. So for instance, an owner and the business, a client and the business, a service and the business. All of these are transactions. Okay, now service business. A service business is a business that offers a service in exchange for a payment. Example, wedding planners, caterers, plumbers, and even security. So in, in this instance, you're selling time and a skill instead of selling a product. So grade eight learners, before we get practical, we first need to understand that when we're looking at these transactions, we need to look at them through the point of view of the business. So when you look at the assets and the owner's equity, remember learners, we will be looking at it from the viewpoint of the business. When reading through a transaction, you should always ask yourself what happened. So let's look at a few examples. For this lesson, we will be looking at cash payment transactions only. Transaction one. Bake at Brenda bought a vehicle from Barney Motors and paid by EFT 250,000 Rand. So remember, before we start with the example, stop and evaluate and then move on. Bake at Brenda bought a vehicle, which means a payment was made and money is deducted from the current bank account of a business. A vehicle was bought, vehicles are an asset, so this asset increases. So let's put this information in the accounting equation. The asset, cash or bank, decreases by 250,000 Rand because the business bought a vehicle. The asset vehicles increases by 250,000 Rand because you bought a vehicle, so you will have more vehicles. Minus 250,000 Rand plus 250,000 Rand equals to zero. And owner's equity always equals zero, which means the assets equal owner's equity. So as you can see, the accounting equation is balanced. So a tip for you grade 8 learners, if you see that the accounting equation doesn't balance, just go back to example and work through the example just to see where you've made your mistake. Okay, so let's move over to the second transaction. Baker Brenda paid the newspaper for advertisement. This means money was deducted from the current bank account of your business. Advertising is an expense for the business because the business made a payment for a service named advertising. The asset cash or bank decreases by 500 Rand. No asset was obtained for the payment. So the total assets decrease by 500 Rand. Consequently, the owner's equity decreases by 500 Rand. Payments that have the effect of decreasing the owner's equity are called expenses. In this case, the relevant expense is advertising. Minus 500 Rand equals minus 500 Rand, which equals zero, which means the equation is correct. Okay, grade eight learners, you're doing great. Let's move over to the last transaction. The owner, Brenda, took cash for personal use for 1,500 Rand. So remember, stop, evaluate, and move on. Now, in this example, we have personal use. Let's see how this will roll out in the example. Money was deducted from the current bank account of a business because the owner took cash for personal use. When the owner took money from the business's bank account for her personal use, the asset cash or bank decreases by 1,500 Rand. No asset was obtained for the payment. 
so the total assets decreased by 1,500 rand. Consequently, the owner's equity decreases by 1,500 rand. These payments that have the effect of decreasing the owner's equity are called drawings. Drawings are not an expense. It only decreases your owner's equity. Minus 1,500 rand equals minus 1,500 rand. So this equation is correct. This marks the end of lesson one for term three. We'll see you next time in lesson two.